Hello boys and girls, welcome to Just Shake or Steer. My name is Georgi and it's December, boys and girls. It's a festive season, so it's time to start with some cracking festive cocktails. Now, this year I'm not going to do 25 cocktails to Christmas. However, I will share with you some fantastic recipes. And starting today, I'm going to kick this uh, festive season with a recipe which I created in January 2019. And I love this recipe. It's very nice, it's warm, it's sweet, it's boozy, it's very easy to make, three ingredients only, and it's called smoked dates. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you're ready for the festive season and I hope you're looking forward to spend some quality time with friends, family, and enjoy this Christmas as much as possible, the best way possible, okay? So I'm gonna share some recipes with you about the festive season and I'm gonna try to stick to a very simple, quite just a few ingredients cocktail so you can easily manage to get the ingredients, make them at home because today recipe include homemade ingredient and of course being easy on you. So just enjoy the celebrations and don't spend too much time shaking or stirring, okay? Today we're doing smoked dates. Now the cocktail I created in January 2019 and it's basically three ingredients with one modifier. So let's see what is the ingredients. Okay, first ingredient, it's bourbon. So grab your favorite bourbon, whatever you're liking, and use it. Second ingredient, it's port. I'm using Graham Vintage Port, which is 2015. I will suggest if you can find Vintage Port, use Vintage Port. However, if you can't find, if it's not available in your store or online or whatever is the reason, just get a nice port, okay? Third ingredients, date syrup. Now this is made from uh, dry dates and if you are interested how to make this syrup, make sure you check my short on a date syrup. I'll leave a card here or you can find it in my shorts playlist. Very easy to make, just watch the video one minute and you know how to do it. And final ingredient, which I know I mentioned it's three ingredients, but this is just a modifier, it's just a few dashes of Angostura bitter. That's it. So the original cocktail which I created in 2019 includes uh, lime juice. However, I kind of uh, get rid of the lime juice. It was good idea at the time, but more I made it, more I realized we don't need this acidity in the cocktail because we want to be a festive, warm, sweet and kind of a comforting drink. Okay, so that's why I remove it. So let's build up. Okay, the cocktail is stirred because, like I say, I get rid of the lime juice as per the original recipe. So we're just gonna stir the cocktail and it's very simple. Equal measurements, both of the ingredients. So we have 45 ml or ounce and a half of the bourbon and a 45 ml of your port, whichever you decide to use. Again, I'm gonna mention here, if you find vintage port, it's miles better, but if you're not, don't stress about it, okay? And finally, we have the homemade date syrup, only 15 ml or half an ounce. Now, since the port, the vintage port, it's uh, sweet, the date syrup is gonna bring even more sweetness to the cocktail, but with the Angostura bitter, you're gonna bring this little bit of bitterness to the final test. So we have two dashes of Angostura bitter, there you go. And that's it, boys and girls. Simple as that. You don't need anything more. All you need is full with ice. We have to chill the cocktail nicely. So give it a good stir for about 20, 30 seconds, maybe. You want this glass outside to get absolutely steamed. You want proper chill, dilute a little bit because you have the sweetness from the port and from the date syrup. But don't forget, you have a bourbon inside. Also gonna bring a little bit of sweet note. It's gonna bring a little spice, a little warminess, a little toffee, vanilla. It's all these kind of flavors. It's absolutely amazing. It's just fantastic. Here we go. So you have to do this. This glass, it needs to be proper steamed outside, nice and cold. Give it a little try. Ooh. Okay, let's serve. Now, here is the funny part. You don't need to do that if you don't have the equipment, but if you can, 
you'll be up for a treat, okay? So we're gonna surf in old-fashioned glass in a large cube of ice or filled up with ice. Let me get my strainer. Gonna pour the cocktail. Wonderful. And here is a trick. We're gonna smoke this. There's many different ways to smoke a cocktail. Okay, so if you're interested, if you wanna see kind of a science of smoke, let me know in the comments and I'll make dedicated video because not every smoked cocktail must involve a real smoke, if that makes sense. You can smoke cocktail, for example, just by using a Sushong tea, which is a smoked tea, and you infuse one of the spirit or you shake with it in double strength. There's many, many, many. It's, you know me. You can bring smoke to any drink even without bringing any actual smoke. But let's do this. So I have hickory wood here. I have apple wood as well. So it depends what kind of flavor you like. I will put some of this in. And we're gonna smoke this baby to bring a little bit kind of this proper festive season feel inside in the cocktail. Now, my kind of a smoky jar or whatever you call this, it's not exactly prepare for this so you get a little bit smoky here anyway where's my fire thing right there we go so what i'm gonna do is just fill it up oops and give a little bit more fire wonderful and i'm gonna stop it so now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna leave the cocktail to grab some of this smoke. Another option to do a smoke cocktail, I'm just gonna show you quick until we're waiting here. If you have one of those, uh, decanter or garaf, whatever you call it, for whiskey, you can put your cocktail inside, you can fill up the smoke, close it, and you can give it a little swirl and you can leave it the smoke to slowly absorb in the cocktail and then you can put in your glass this way you can leave it on the side go and do something else and come back in five ten minutes and enjoy a fantastic cocktail okay but here we are ready i'm not gonna wait anymore because i want to have a sip of this beautiful cocktail so let's open it and this is where the beauty is coming Mmm, fantastic. So guys, this is my small date to garnish it. Simple one, dry date on a bamboo stick on the top of the cocktail and you're done. Cheers and happy holidays. Let's try. Mmm, seriously. I mean, you can't go wrong. Come on. It's a bourbon. You have the spice, the toffee, the vanilla, chocolate flavor. Then you have the sweetness from the port fortified wine with a lovely warm winter feeling. And of course, the amazing dry date syrup, which brings this fantastic sweetness, kind of a oriental vibe to the drink. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, Leave a comment, don't be shy, okay? I'll see you on Monday with a Monday drum and more festive cocktails next week. Until then, stay safe, get ready for the festive season, and as always, I love you and I leave you now. Bye-bye.